Pepperdine, and we are the Canadian Lumberjacks. We're going to give you the best shot you'll ever see. Or should I say, saw. All kinds of action. We're going to start off with the Mighty Axe, go to the old fashioned measure up the cross and saw, and move on into the log roll. Now, please keep in mind, the guys here are trained professionals, so do not try this at home. What a crowd, I'm telling you. All right, the stage is set. What do we need now? That's right, we got some beastie fellows just for that lady right over there. The first one I want to bring out is quite amazing. He's so good, we call him great. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big hand for Anthony the Great Lombardo! His partner, simply put, the world's strongest lumberjack. No man in the world can hit a log harder than he with an axe. Let's hear for the one way, Chris Simon! Is the blue team. Woo! Here comes the red. This guy, he is the bully of the camp. The man that is large and in charge. Let's hear for the one only, Mr. and I do mean Mr. Lyle Le Capitan. Oh, you feel right at home, don't you? Oh, for sure. Now last but not least, a man that's so good he's got not one but two nicknames. The first one is the doctor because of his laser precision with cutting wood. The next one is Smiley, and you're going to find out why. The one only, James Judge! Oh, that's a good intro, James. I like that. The lone wolf. Come on in here, fellas. Right now, we're going to give you a photo opportunity you can't get anywhere else in the world except right here, and it's going to happen on the count of three. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Let's give it to him. One, One two, two, three! three. Let the games begin! Woo. The first event is axe throwing. This is the first tool that the Lumberjacks had was the mighty axe. One edge, wood's filed thick, to take out huge tips from the tree. Once the tree fell, what did we yell? Timber! Yeah. Yeah. On the ground, the next job was to take the branches off. They turned the axe around, hopped on top of the tree, walked on and with one swoosh of the axe, off would come the branches. Then they'd hop on top of the tree once again, turn the axe to the other side, chop between their feet, sectioning it out. When that was all finished, they took the axe and threw it over to the next tree, gathered up the belongings and started all over again. That's how axe throwing got it started. Each lumberjack thought they were the biggest, the baddest, the best axe thrower in the camp. So they had competition, serious competition. They threw for chores, and the best axe thrower had no chores to do. And believe you me, at the end of the day, we got a big mess to pick up, don't we, boys? All right, representing the blow team, Anthony the Great. Camp Wild! And of course, folks, we got our judge for the axe throwing, James Judge! The axe judge is there for this event. Alright, the set of the bullseye is worth five points, then it goes four, three, two. And if they miss the target, it's a great big Canadian move. Let's give that a try, everyone! Oh, you can do better than that, let's start watching a hockey game. Alright, here we are. Yeah. Now, Anthony, yeah. this is how we're splitting the crowd. You got it, Lyle? Pay attention. Right. right over here. Over to here. You now just became blue. What do you say? Yeah. Oh, you guys can cheer for me too. It's okay. No, no. Yeah. Everybody over here, you got Lyle. What do you say, Red Jim? Yeah. Right. You 
applause catch your crowd with the Anthony just now. <laughs> hey, drink, brother, the piece. All you gotta do is get the code at the highest amount of point, and you're allowed to practice. So, are you gonna take a practice? I'll tell you after I throw. Who the guy's a comedian? This is your man, Blue. What do you say? What does the red sign say? Whoa. Here it goes. He's hanging the target, taking a careful aim. Here comes the windup. Here goes the toss. as you are. What can we do? These people didn't come for a demonstration, right? No! You guys want to see a competition? Yeah! That was pretty good, but it wasn't quite loud enough. You guys want a competition? Yeah! Can you bring it on? Yeah, we got our own two-man song. Here it is, folks. A crosscut sawing Dunny Brook. These are not your typical saws. These are racing m 2 And wait a minute! What that? Well, that's my safety cut. Really? Yeah, some of my saw doesn't hop out of the wood. You're allowed to do that? Yeah. Safety's good? Safety's real good. That's a safety cut. Yeah, you can't go wrong with safety. Safety is good. All right, here we go. Whoa! That's a lot deeper. Super safe. Yeah. <laughs> Super safe is good. All right, now folks, you're going to start them out. It's going to be three, two, one, go. We're going to have a practice. I want you so loud that they hear it all the way back in the Northern Territories. Let's give it a try. Everyone, three, two, one, go! Wait a minute. What are you doing now? You're just having a practice. Oh yeah, practice is good. I think it is. That's right, but you know what? Now, wait a minute. They're the same depth as you are. This is an even... No, they're not. <laughs> This is an even match. An even match. Is it going to be the blue? Is it going to be the red? Five points. Red needs.
need your help. Sawyers, are you set? Let's start them out. Everybody, three, two, one, go! It has five apiece, two rounds left. But we are going into a wild, an adventurous, a scary event. It is the Standing Block Chop. To my left and your right, the Doctor of Precision. He hits that tree like a laser with speed. But to my right, right oh, your yeah. left, the world's strongest lumberjack, Rover has it. He hits the tree so hard, when he goes in the woods, they fall from fear. <laughs> Not happening, Chris. That didn't work. Next time. All right. Now, who's going to win? Choppers, are you set? Everybody clear. We're going to start them out the same way we did with the crosscut saws. We need your help. Are you ready? Let's start them out. Three, two, one, go! They're taking out huge chips. Look at the speed of James. He's hitting that bar twice to Chris. But Chris is sinking that out. Right to the eye! Who makes their turn first? Chris has got the lead! Look at him go! Cheer him on! Unbelievable! But wait a minute! Tradition has it! The guy that finishes last always gets the loudest cheer! I want to hear Timber so loud that they hear it at the other end of the pond! It's ready to go! That means Chris is the winner for the blue team! They got 10 points, but it's not all over. A few things I'd like to say. Every single tree that's cut here in the Canadian Lumberjacks with our land management program, three trees are planted in its place. In addition, all the leftover chunks of wood go in a bin back there, and Disney mulches it up and uses it throughout the parks. How about that? Right. Now let's talk about log rolling. Log rolling got us started right up the Great North. The Great White North. When the rivers were frozen, the jacks fell their trees. They brought them on top of the river. When the spring thaw came, the waters were high, and they went downstream. With pike poles in hand, they pried, they poked, unlocking the jams, forming these logs downstream to the river's still water, or the logging pond. When the logs got there, the lumberjacks were happy. It was painting, and it was a celebration. They had competitions. It was called a Rolio. <laughs> that's the truth. It really was. Yeah. Now, here's something that's a really cool piece of history. The last river drive was held in the early 80s in Barrington, Nova Scotia by some of our good friends, the Scott family. And that's why I wanted to tell you because it's really respectable. Now, before we get started, i got to bring out our checks. First of all, no! I was, but you just volunteered him, so you're coming out. And for the blue team, let's bring out Wild, what do you say? Gentlemen, shake hands. lost here to me. Anthony is on his way. Anthony! You better do it. disappointed in you. Here we go. Now, we're in Canada, right? Right. Canada rules. 
You know what that means? There aren't any rules. Anything goes except crossing that center line or touching your opponent. You can bob the lock. You can splash water. You can change directions. Here's the deal. Blue team's got ten. Red team's got five. If the red team wins, it's going to be a tie. If the blue team wins, they go home champions, and they have a stack of pancakes waiting for lunch. Huh? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Let's get them started together, everybody. It's gonna be three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, one. Go. Time in. Go on. Another new champion. Go on. Anthony, are you gonna take that? Yes, you are. Here. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's wrong. It's wrong. Everyone's gonna go with the last word that way. Cheer him out of it. Is it gonna be a is it gonna be a wild man? Look at him. This is the original deck. Look at him go. He's going to get a lie out loud. And the new song, yeah. Two out of three. All right, it's not over yet. Want to be the champion, Anthony? Can you come win and win with two more falls and win it? All right, folks. This is it. Let's get it started. Three, two, one, go! Time in. Look at the dog. There's gonna be lots of ability. Allow me to speak to the way. Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> we got a split decision. It's now coming down to the final four. This is it. Who's going to be the champion? I can hear you! The louder you cheer, the better they roll. If you want your man to win, you better cheer him on. Let's get him started. Is it going to be the loser? Is it going to be the red? Lock the one more time for you. We're going to give you that photo opportunity. You can only get it right here. Are you ready, boys? Let's give it to them. One, two, three. <laughs> Here's the cool thing. Right now, we're coming right down there. If you'd like to get a picture taken with them, say hello, shake a hand, or get an autograph, now's your chance. I'd like to say thank you. And here's the last word. Tim Bob!